How's it going, guys? Chris back here again with some more. We're all here in MG Arena. Today, we're checking out Arna Canary? Canard? Uh, there's a German U in there that I am not familiar enough with to <laughs> be too comfortable with. Um, she was one of those commanders, one of the first few that I opened. And I looked at her and thought, an artifact and or a commander, probably not that interesting. I'll move on with my day, but um, after opening her and getting a look at her, like, she's actually kind of crazy. Um, yeah, I'll keep that. That is removal, and removal is key. It's something that every deck needs, and uh, my deck is no, uh, no exception. So, the neat thing about her is that you basically spend turns 1 through 4 putting a creature on the field, equipping it, or enchanting it with an aura. And then on turn 5 you drop her, and that creature attacks, and then all of the auras and equipments on it double up. And that's a pretty disgusting board state for an opponent to have to find their way out of. doing this because it just gives a counter to our, our guy. It doesn't help us protect it. I don't know what the deal with uh, with Phila the Exuberant Shepherd was. Like when they were designing it, what they wanted it to do. It has flash. You can sneak it in. And whenever it attacks, it exiles an online permanent and if that permanent was yours, you put a counter on the good boy. Like that's that's very sensible, isn't it? Uh, but Like, why, why though? That's my question. There are things I don't understand. And that's fair enough, I suppose. We don't have to understand everything. We don't have to submit anything either. We can also uh, remove a blocker. There's nice synergies to it. I, uh, it's one of those cards I'm just gonna need to play with to uh, understand the proper uses of. There are cards like that that are just. They do things and those things are good and fun, but like. You enter tapped? Why do you enter tapped? Oh, you were missing reef. Bleh. Bleh. Um. You want to trade your angel for a dog? No life gain trigger for you. I'm not even going to chance it. Next turn we can, uh... Protect our sword with Hila and Hiliad. I'd say protect. Like, that's very loose, but, uh... Well, actually, he only checks enchantment. Let's roll with that, but he's a good boy either way. I don't give a fuck. Ouch. It is a race then, opponent. Well. Wow. They have the mana to counter this. If they played against okay. If they played against this commander, they would know that countering it is probably Probably the best thing to do. Bye bye, Angel. Yes, Arna does have a trigger. So I now have two swords. Heliod, no. Too bad there isn't a protection land. Where is our protection land? Rafine, why can't you protect a creature when you enter the battlefield? And have a creep land type. So Arno will always make a copy of a non-token permanent attached to it. 
So the amount of swords we have will increase by one every turn. And uh, as you can see, we've already milled 41 cards. So it does get worse. I like Arna a lot, as you can probably tell. I'm excited about it. She's a, a really fun, different take on artifacts. Because generally when I think about artifacts and equipments, and we also are running some auras. Like, we're not a completely auraless deck. Because auras have ethereal armor and all the glitters that kind of affects. They're just insanely good. Good boy has returned. Yeah, now this is also a, uh, a disgusting hand. Uh, we get tapped. Next turn we snarl. Untapped. Play our boy. On turn three we play this. Yes, we will reveal that. This is a boy. I hope you like our boy. Good boy. I'm not much of a dog person, but, like, you can't. You can't dislike that. He's he's just a good boy. Hmm. Scourge of the Sky Clay. Swing for four. I'm gonna submit zero this time around. So, I think next turn I Cult to Heart Hateful Eidolon, just so that I have an option in case they remove Villa. Like, that is something I need to worry about. Ouch. Bye bye, Lotus Cobra. Two damage to me. Uh oh. Arl. Go boy. Get that thing out of here. It'll return opponent. It'll return. I'm just removing it as a blocker. I think Phil has died for his sins. I think that's where we're at. One power stone would have been good if I could have played it. Because then I could have played my commander and did the thing. But now it looks like I'm only going to get to do the thing. Too bad. Are we sacking? We could. Ouch. Do we sack and make discard? I think that's where we go. Yeah, there goes a big boy. Or a good boy. He's not big, he's small. Rude. Hmm. Are they going to sack a creature to get rid of a hateful Eidolon? They're not going to sack a Corvold. I refuse. I refuse to believe that my opponent is going to sacrifice their Corvold to kill my hateful Eidolon. I don't believe it. It's not a real thing that would happen. Well, they might. I try and kill that. Six damage. Ooh. 
And I think I'm going to attach here because it's going to die. If I draw a land, we're in Cyclonic Rift territory, which could be good. I definitely can answer Anne, Arna. Yeah, we get bigger and bigger, opponent. Bigger and bigger. You need to stop it now. There's some cool cow lands. Is that a cow? No, it's not a cow. I don't know. Can you pay the ward opponent? <sighs> GG. We're not getting out from underneath this. We're taking 14 damage this turn. That's... I think we have time for one more. Gotten one win, one loss. Our record is respectable at the moment. I still have two old videos before MH1 released that I'm probably just going to delete because kinda kind of the date at this point. I don't know, I've been playing so much MH3 that uh, I probably don't even need them, but it's a little sad sad. Soul Sisters, Mono White, Mono Black are probably, probably gonna die on the vine, unfortunately. This is a bad hand. I shouldn't have kept it, but Authority of the Council's on one is a tempting offer. Like, we have Ramp? Like, there are things here that I like. Nettle Sis is, uh, really funny. With, uh, Nettlethist is really funny with Arna because when Nettlethist triggers, the copy comes in, it makes a germ. That germ uh, then grabs the equipment off the germ that is, uh, has the copy. And then if you have something like a, a Gardner's aid on the battlefield, it's like do you want to remove this equipment back to where it was when it came into existence? And you're like, yeah, and then the germ dies. And it's like, oh, okay. It's essentially an elaborate way to murder a zero zero in Magic the Gathering. I never thought I'd get the chance, but here we are. Living our best life, murdering zero zeros. Probably going to go into Realm Breaker next turn. Uh -oh. That is good. Just so that I have the mana. Just so that I have the mana. If for a uh, turn five play. Because Arna really wants to be in the battlefield as soon as possible. Um, and five is quick enough for her. Because like if you, if you ramp too much, what ends up happening is you play Arna on a board that her ability doesn't support, right? And... Uh, you don't want that to happen, because if that happens, you basically end up losing Arna for no value, because your opponent removes her, and, uh... Look at me gaining life. Hey. That's a fifth land. Uh, wealth and power, I think, are gonna be what I'm going for. It's also one of the best, like, high power adding uh, equipment to Nettle Fist is. Sword of Wealth and Power is not one of the best power. It only adds two, but it does make a treasure every time you attack. It's pretty cool. I do like that a lot. You're going to swing in, opponent? Know that I will swing in with more of whatever we're swinging in with. Hmm. 
What do you think of this opponent? They have something? What could you possibly have opponent? Probably the two mana removal spell. That's infuriating opponent. Down to 14. And now our opponent gets to draw all of the cards. Oh, oh, never mind. No, 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 no. No, Warren Clegg's Voice of Hunger, too far. <laughs> Uh, I would have played if this was uh, seven mana draw six cards, but you're never gonna untap your lands again. That is too brutal. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, remember to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you next time. Bye for now.